It was just like a normal day for all of us when suddenly a terrorist plans to hijack a plane. The things so happen are written and almost forgotten and we wish to tell all about the bravery and valor of that day. It was 24th April 1993, an Indian Airlines flight, flight 427, took off from Delhi at 1.57 pm for Srinagar. It had 141 persons, 121 adults, 9 infants and 6 crew members. Around 2.43 pm, when the flight was on air, a passenger who was identified himself as Sayyid Salauddin suddenly claimed that he is carrying pistols and a hand grenade and ordered the plane to be taken to Kabul. The Delhi Air Control received a message that plane has been hijacked and is getting on the route to Kabul. The Lahore Air Traffic Control refused to permit the plane to enter Pakistani airspace. The aircraft landed at 3.20 pm at Amritsar and the hijacker demanded refueling so that the plane can proceed for Kabul. The entire plane was in silence and the hijacker creating ruckus and trouble. As the negotiations continued, the hijacker lost patience and fired a warning shot which went through the body of the aircraft and he was adamant to take the flight to Kabul. The authorities kept on the negotiations to make some more time and the NSG commandos were dispatched to Amritsar via Adampur through helicopters. Around 11 pm, the hijacker threatened he will blow the plane if his demand was not met. The CMG then directed the NSG commandos to storm the plane. The operation was called Operation Ashwamedha. Over the next two hours, the NSG team assessed the ground situation and planned the operation. At 1 am on 25th April, around six commandos of NSG's 52 Special Action Group surrounded and entered the plane with a plan to kill the hijacker. The hijacker didn't expect this to happen. He tried to get to his pistol, but as it was sudden and before he could react and fire, a commando shot him with his silenced pistol. The operation which was started at 1 am ended at 1 5 am. There was no casualty or any injury to any hostage or further damages to the aircraft. The operation was over as soon as it is started. Two loaded 9mm pistols were recovered from the hijacker. The hijacker was identified as Jalaluddin alias Muhammad Yunus Shah and it was revealed that he belonged to Hezbollah Mujahideen. The terrorist organization denies any link but we all know what's what. That day, 141 precious lives were saved. Ask them the value of their life and we are sure they can show so much gratitude to the brave NSG commandos who came on time and rescued all of them. Whenever the story of brave will be remembered, NSG commandos will have a special place in that for sure.